What's up everyone? I recently got a 5 gear victory which I wanted to show to you. And I think the run turned out very nicely because uh, usually you see me starting with uh, mosquitoes, otter, sands, even uh, fish and ducks. But this time I had a horse cricket start which uh, I don't really specialize in but uh, it worked out somehow. Uh, the, the run itself, uh, it was very lucky that I got uh, <laughs> I got the win basically because uh, I didn't get uh, that uh, many deers and uh, the ones I did get uh, came very late so I couldn't really buff them. You'll see later on that uh, uh, it was uh, a single deer that uh, did all the carrying of the team. For now though, uh, in the early game I tried to focus on uh, winning rounds because uh, a deer team wouldn't really <laughs> win uh, around uh, 17 and such so uh, I want those uh, early victories uh, and uh, that way I can finish off the game by turn uh, 13 or 14 at the latest. Here I find a dog which uh, I I don't really like the new dog, but uh, since I'm already running uh, kind of a summon build, I figure why not uh, pick it up. And uh, I've been uh, destroyed by some dog players, so I know that uh, even the new dog has some potential, especially for the middle game. And uh, I try to cycle as much as I can for those temporary stats, but uh, you could argue it may not be worth it. I do it anyway because, uh, as I said, I really want those early victories. And uh, having dog makes me uh, want uh, more uh, summon units, so I pick up spider, I freeze another spider, and uh, I hope for the best uh, spider, uh, you know, spider spawns. Usually you want to get sheep, of course. Getting badger as well isn't that bad, but uh, getting giraffe doesn't really do anything. And here I think I peel spider for the temporary stats and I get a kangaroo which uh, also synergizes quite nicely with summon builds. I think I'll put it behind uh, the spider so that it uh, guaranteed gets uh, two procs and a very lucky dog level up into my first gear which uh, even if I'm not running the horse anymore the, the build is still strong and it's still uh, centered around summoning. You can see the little summons take care of the big units and uh, it feels quite nice despite me losing this round to a B. And here I, as always, I think I find uh, more units that I want uh, to level, that I have on the team already of course, like this kangaroo, but uh, it's good practice that uh, you uh, keep level ups for turn uh, 7 and such. You really, really want that monkey because uh, the earlier you start scaling with it, the better it is. At the time I didn't really know that I was going to go for deer, but uh, uh, picking up an early deer on turn 5 is uh, very strong. Not a lot of teams can deal with a 5-5. Five five. If that 5-5 uh, five five which really gets to attack twice, it's usually it usually spells disaster for the enemies. And here I try to level up the kangaroo and, and uh, I level into a monkey which is very lucky. And here I decide, okay, the the deer is going to remain in the front. Why not buff it instead and maybe even give the uh, the kangaroo in the back more opportunities to get both? Because obviously the the stronger a unit is, the more likely it is to survive attacks, and uh, that means uh, more buffs for the kangaroo. It didn't, it didn't really survive uh, <laughs> more than two hits, but uh, that's still good enough for a victory. And I artificially scale it with pairs because pairs are just that good. I really wanted to get melon on it but uh, I figured uh, that uh, no unit on my team would be sold for in order to make space for turtle and uh, I had to uh, find a pill on top of that but uh, that didn't really work out. Like you saw that <laughs> I, I literally unfroze the turtle and the next throw I got a pill which uh, happens sometimes but I'm not too mad about it. Having this early level 2 monkey is very nice because uh, you 
don't typically have a level, a level 2 monkey by turn 9 and uh, the buffs really add up over time. Like the gear is uh, 17, 21 already. And uh, a little spoiler, but uh, in the end that frontline gear is uh, what's going to be carrying the team. A benefit of me running gear actually is that uh, the bus has uh, built-in chili, so if I'm running uh, a 5 gear team, I don't really need to buy uh, chili for the other gears. I could just buy steak instead, and uh, chili can uh, take care of the melon armor. So, uh, I'm not sure what I was going to finish this sentence with, but anyway. Uh, I keep winning for some reason, very surprising, usually by this point in the game you find at least one skunk or a, a one scorpion that uh, decimates you, but uh, this time around not really. I find a cat here, it's usually not a very good idea to uh, invest that much in scaling, like I already have a monkey, why not uh, stay with it. And uh, cat is kind of unreliable in the sense that uh, you can't really control the pizza and sushi buffs. B best you can do is uh, pair, but uh, pair isn't really optimal. I keep winning, <laughs> very surprisingly. And uh, that's another good point of uh, gear that you saw right here, that uh, a, a little gear can absorb the, uh, the stake and the bus can uh, finish off the job. I'm very lucky with my uh, gear rolls on this turn and I basically need it to be because uh, I've gone all game without seeing a single gear and uh, it was kinda sad. I'll still need one more though if I want to go for the 5 of a kind but uh, that can wait until next turn, let's see if we win this turn first. And the hippo team which isn't a scale bigger than my gear so it's an easy win. And I think this is going to be the last turn of the game, I do indeed find a uh, deer if I remember correctly. It should come right over here. Next row? Yeah, next row. Usually I prefer to have stake on my deers, but uh, if no stake is offered to me I just take the one up instead. Uh, but this is going to be it, thank you for watching, a very quick run. Enjoy as we destroy the enemy team. Like, so, do all the generic stuff, and uh, thank you for watching, <laughs> enjoy this uh, mosquito very luckily hits my uh, double one-up gears. Take care!